What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. So yeah, I took my little break, and yeah, whenever I say little break, I mean that, you know, I just stopped recording in a row, because that's what I like to do, I like to record, um, like back to back in between videos, but, oh uh, yeah, it's been like, um, a day or two now, and now I want to get back to it. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm actually ready <laughs> to finish this game so I can move on to XCOM 2, because... Man, like, I don't know, playing this game, like, really reignited, like, I don't know, like, I guess the gamer in me. Like, <laughs> I feel like for the past few years, I haven't really been enjoying video games as much as before, but, yeah, playing this game has been really, I don't know, just really, really fun again. But, yeah, um, I remember last time, though, um, I to remember what we did last time. We did do that one exalt mission, um, do we have to, uh... Do any more? Yeah, we we got to do the Intel scan. Dang! Look at Russia, France, and Germany. Intel scan complete. Shoot. No new exalt cells located. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we'll have to keep on waiting on exalt. <laughs> that is the thing that we've been waiting on for a while. Hey, nice. The plasma sniper rifle is made. Oh yeah, this is the uh, thing we had to make. 75 weapon fragments, that's a lot. Um, the fusion lance. Is there a shotgun, by the way? Is it really this? I'm gonna guess it's this. It's just weird it's not called like a plasma shotgun. But yeah, let's go make this. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Mm -hmm. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, now let's go make... Um... I kind of wish we can also sell some of our laser stuff because now we're moving on to plasma. <laughs> um, yeah, here's the rail gun. Um, yeah, where is yeah where is it at again? I kind of lost <laughs> the plasma sniper rifle. There's a sniper rifle here. It's just also the way this game scrolls. It's also throwing me off sometimes. Dang. Jeez, that's a lot of money. I wonder if we can sell anything. No? I mean... We can start selling these. And they also sell for a lot more now. Yeah, dude, look at Excel, man. They look so cool. It's kind of like how we saw, um... What are they called? Advent in XCOM 2. But if you don't know them... It's a, it's okay. <laughs> They're just another group. <laughs> um, but yeah, they would have like these... Like, I don't know how you would describe this type of style. But yeah, they just look really cool to me. Stop stalling and get your asses out there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Was he talking to me about that? I'm sorry. I just... I just want to build a sniper rifle. Um, but yeah, it looks like... Probably just one sniper rifle we'll have to do for now. Um, yeah, I can't use like the wheel on my mouse to scroll. It, like it jumps. Okay, plasma sniper rifle. Build one of that, and then yeah, we'll just we'll just wait. Satellite nexus. Satellite nexus nice. Let me go and see that. So yeah, we should have, yeah, we should be able to launch, ooh, wow, even more satellites. Uh, it looks like uh, we need probably one more. I don't know, should I, That does that mean should I, hold on, build facilities, should I remove this one and then build a s satellite nexus? Cause like, like, yeah, once I do it here, that means I'm able to, um, I don't know. You know what, let me remove this one. I know it's probably, I'm probably gonna be, be losing more slots. But like... Oh, we need 250. But like, yeah, I just, um, wanted to all, like, all these satellite nexus to be next to each other. And yeah, what does it look like now? We can send two more. Uh, let's go send one 
here, and here. Um, but yeah, now I got to, um, <laughs> I got to sell more. Uh, we need 250. Jeez, man. Got these thin men. Go down to six. Uh oh. Wow, we have a lot of these power source. Wait. This has no research benefits. Oh, nice. Alien surgery. Oh, this one too? The alien stasis tank. Nice. Hey, we got 242. Okay. There we go. That means we can build a nexus. Alright, now I don't have to worry about the satellite uplinks now. Uh, let's go build the nexus here. Alright, so yeah, when this is done, that means, um, yeah, we'll be able to send satellites to all areas. Yeah, that's gonna be so good. Is there any more that I want to build? I can build another workshop if I want to. I feel like I should be doing that too. Because we don't really have anything else to build now. And I would like to speed up my progress on pretty much everything. So, um, we just need 130, right? Oh geez, I don't know if I want to sell a lot of that though. Um, the mechtoids can go down to six, why not? I just really want money. <laughs> Hopefully, um, me selling this is not too bad too. Okay. Let's go build some workshops now. I'll go from, uh... I wonder if we get a bonus if we build it here. I have no idea. I'm gonna build a workshop here. Okay. Alright, let's just keep on waiting, I guess. Hey, the side test is about to be done in two days. We may be onto something, oh. Commander. Our latest candidate is... different. We're picking up levels of psionic energy unlike any we've detected in the previous tests. Okay. Oh, snap. Here we go. Ever since mankind first looked up at the stars, we have wondered what lies beyond. So very few have dared to look in the The depths of the human mind hold more secrets than we can possibly oh. imagine. How ironic. That's funny. The means to defeat our enemy comes not through weapons or machines of war, but from the sea. And if we have succeeded, we will have gained a glimpse of what we are to become. We will have created something extraordinary. Yeah, I see that's funny because I remember way back in the day. Oh my gosh, I'm not gifted. <laughs> oh, do you see that there? Uh, psionic, psionic training. Psy experimentation has revealed that one of our soldiers has psionic powers. To view available psy training, go to the barracks and grant the soldier a psy promotion. New psionic training options become available as the soldier uses psy abilities in combat. Yeah, like, I remember back in the day. Because, like, I think the model for, like, the very first... Because I'm going to guess, because it, it pretty much has the same model as when I first played this game. Like, Felix Guzman here, he's, like, the very first soldier that we get in the game. And it seems like the model for him is always the same. Uh, let's go to, uh... Let's go to Annette. Let's go prom promote her first. Because I feel like she's more into the size stuff. There we go. Mind fray. Use psi abilities in combat to unlock further training. Cause the target to lose grip on reality. Inflicting penalties to aim, will, and mobility. And doing a base, five base damage. Robotic units are immune. Last three turns. One turn cooldown. It's actually good. It's like a free... Like It feels guaranteed. Does it have any accuracy? I don't know. But I remember back in the day... 
um, with, yeah, with, uh, Felix here. Like, my equivalent to him, like, way back in the day, which I believe his name was Ricardo Garcia. He was also, like, my first soldier, and he had a same, pretty much the same exact face. He would also be the first one to, um, like, get that cutscene and be, uh, gifted and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's kind of like just seeing that cutscene again, you know, it's, it just takes me way back. Um, but that's cool. So yeah, they're both gifted. I am not gifted, unfortunately. <laughs> I have no gift at all. I wonder if I can select myself again. I don't know. But we should do the Furies. Yeah. We should do probably... We have an ethical obligation to prepare these soldiers for the changes, permanent changes, mm -hmm. that they will experience. And yeah, I can't do myself again. I am not gifted. <laughs> yeah, we should do the, the the yeah these guys here. Electo, and then they get the scrolling in this game. <laughs> Magera, and then Tisephony or Tisiphony. <laughs> I always say Tisephony because of the name Persephone. But yeah. Uh, yeah, they're being uh, tested now. I feel like they're guaranteed to be be um, having like psi powers. But yeah, uh, we got that done. Wait, can we promote them while they're in there? We can. Nice. Oh wait, they can keep going. All right, to Stephanie, what do you think she's like? You know, we never really had anyone go down this route. I feel like I want to do that. I just never felt this being too good unless you want, want to really deal a lot of damage. And then we have you. Why not? Let's go down this route. Then the sniper. I guess, yeah, let's have everyone just go all the way down this this line okay well then now that's done um we shall wait Contact oh it's that again I mean I, I don't even know if it's really worth I guess yeah let's we got the plasma cannon here I don't think it's really worth sending out anyone against the UFOs here I just feel like they, they might Engage just get destroyed Okay. You go leave. Contact detected. Yeah, I just don't think any of these are going to be good. It looks like we do have to research that priority because I think that's the one that We're in is going to make us able to take down this UFO. Lost. And it's lost. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll just scan. Nice. Assign new Marking projects. Or... This is the end of an era for mankind. Even after we've defeated the remaining aliens, what then? Have we sacrificed our own humanity for a taste of their technology? <laughs> and if we manage to exploit this power further, do we risk being consumed by it? Presumably, just as they were? Yeah, I remember that kind of dialogue back in the day, you know? Uh, as we use, like, the meld and stuff, I, I think these guys, you know, they talk about, like, you know, how much have we become the aliens ourselves, you know, with their technology. <laughs> hey, we've got the alloy cannon. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Alright. Uh, but we need weapon fragments. Oh, this is instant? This is done instantly. I mean, let's go for it. <laughs> I gotta say, we're, we've been doing just a lot of stuff in the base here. Dang. Nice. Plasma weaponry research credit earned. What does that mean? We already got some plasma weapons. Yeah, 
You know, it, it does make me wonder with the aliens and stuff. Because yeah, you saw it with that Sectoid Commander. The way he moved is kind of like, you know, it would be on fours. And you know, that, that guy's a commander too. So it makes me wonder if like, I don't know. If there is any, if like, if, there, if the aliens are like a mix of like, I guess being kind of primal. But then you got ones that are elegant, like the... Like, what are they called? Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular like the mutons. specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. I mean, a lot of research <laughs> that, that I'm just unlocking now. <laughs> because a lot of them are instant now. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Reptilian. <laughs> That's cool to see too, because I, I know like, you know, what they... What they actually are, or at least what they become in, um, to improve medkit. Yeah, at least what they become in XCOM 2. Because yeah, they do evolve over the games. This one's also instant. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. I mean, I, I don't know about that. What about the Berserker? Ammo conservation. Allowing their weapons to carry more ammunition without requiring a soldier to full reload. Oh. That's interesting too. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Yeah, I think the chrysalid hasn't changed in the next game, actually. Yeah, we're getting a lot of these stuff. Dang, how many more? Every one of them is instant. Okay, we're in for a ride. We've yet to recover one of these in functional condition from the field. The men seem to enjoy using them for target practice. <laughs> At the present time, we know that the cyber disc, as they've been calling it, is heavily armed, but it shows no clear pattern of behavior on the battlefield. Okay. Secondary hearts. We can do that. Oh my gosh. Here's a berserker. The men are calling this beast the berserker, although it shares the same structure as the muton. For reasons yet unknown to us, the berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. You know, I never really took a good look at the berserker in this game because I thought they looked at pretty much the same in the in XCOM 2, but yeah, looking back in this game. They're actually kind of, I think they're pretty much the same size as a Mouton, right? And they're also wearing armor. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. Cool. Uh, project Sentinel drone project available. Drone capture. We are confident that our arc throwers could be upgraded to allow the capture of enemy drones, giving us the full control the control of the flying drones for the remainder of the combat mission. That's really cool. Sentinel drone. Oh, that's for the the shiv. Okay. All right, Mechtoid, the big guy. We were only able to recover the suit's central core, although the pilot's corpse also survived intact. 
The armor itself is quite interesting. The design is highly responsive while still providing extraordinary strength. I just realized, where do we even build our own mech guys? I don't even know. <laughs> We never got around to do that. Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has an unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. Mm-hmm. I'm just skipping a lot of this stuff because <laughs> I'd rather read it like when it is when it when it is needed. Wow look at that. You know I've been complaining that we have so many research. I've been complaining about that, but now we're so little. And that's because a lot of these were instants. I thought it would take us a while, but no. Okay, go and research that fast. Um yeah. Satellite coverage now available over France. Nice, good job. Uh new research Skeleton suit. But yeah, that just has a grappling hook, pretty much. Where's the missions at? Here we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. It's the same UFO. Wow, we researched a lot. The Titan armor. Let's go. Additional workshop online. The new nice. engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Yeah, cool. Uh, keep on going with the workshop, I guess. Yeah, let me see all the other ones. There's the cybernetics. Yeah, this is the one with the mechs. Maybe we should build these, like right, right next to the like these over here. We should build it there. But for now, let's get these workshops in. Because <laughs> why not? Give the exact amount for the credits too. Nice. Now we got the Titan armor. Dang, look at that. The ghost armor. So many armors. Ooh. Yep, they're all gifted. I guess we'll keep on um, using a Scilab here. I do want to make Zing at least like a mech. I don't know if I will lose an opportunity to do that if I test him, so maybe I'll, I'll not test out Zing. I think it's best if I don't do that. You know what? What about the Kathleen's? <laughs> Yeah, what about them? Let's get you there. Uh, you in there. Um, I guess Ramos too. Why not? Alright. Uh oh. Here we go. I thought about just buying a Titan armor first, but I think we don't really have much. Commander. We're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Yeah, definitely Germany, because, I mean, the panic and also we get money. Which I do need money right now so that we can keep buying whatever we need to buy. <laughs> Dude, I am not gifted. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. Yeah, let me just clear out to everyone. Guzman, you're in battle. Uh, let's get... Yeah, where are they at? Uh, Zang in here. It's gonna be very difficult. Um, I also want to level up Annette here. And also try out her new abilities too. Alright, so we got two assaults, two heavies, and... What? Maybe two supports? Maybe, maybe we can get... Well, what is she like? Um, yeah, she's already all good. I want to level up a sniper that 
needs to be leveled up. Oh wait, you. Yeah. Yeah, you're- I think you're good enough. Oh yeah, I'll- I'll- I want to make available first the, uh, the stuff before I do that. And then I guess... Yeah, I guess it's gonna have to be you, maybe? Make items available. There we go. Plasma rifle. Now we got infinite alien grenades. So that's gonna be a staple for all of us here now. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a staple for all of us. Plasma sniper rifle. That's so cool. Um Heavy Plasma? Dang, look at them. They look so cool. Um, let's get the loadouts in. Um, we'll put the arc thrower here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put the arc thrower on, on the bottom side. There we go. Everyone is all plasmed up. They also got some really good equipment. I'm really hoping they do good here. Let us, let us uh, launch the, the mission. Nice. We have visual on the mission site. Set Begin assault. Our target site is near the German border. We're still seeing dozens of reported abduction attempts coming in from cities around the world. You will be deploying at the site of the latest report. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. Dang, look at that sniper rifle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, looks like there are, there's also an area here too. So I'm not sure how I want to move around. Yeah, you can go pretty far. Let's move uh, Molly all the way up here. Aye, aye, Commander. Then who can go behind? I guess... Maybe Guzman can. Moving to position. On my way. Okay, I'll go. Okay. My sniper, though. I'm on it, Commander. All right, let's have everyone here go Overwatch. Uh. Just trying to remember where my <laughs> numbers are at. Had to look away for a bit. Okay. I just heard something mechanical. Is there a sectopod? We uh, we haven't found a sectopod at, like at all. I wonder, I'm wondering if we did find a sectopod. Oh geez, that's a lot of enemies that I just discovered here. Hey, it's the the mechs. Oh geez, this is a tough situation to deal with. <laughs> I mean, this one we can, we can probably use a rocket. And you know what, Zang, go and use a rocket on these fools. Goodbye. Bam. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Alright, so yeah, next time we'll actually uh, try to finish this mission. Hopefully I did not just send um, 
yeah, Pixie here to her death because I, I did kind of put her like way out here. But yeah, guys, um, that'll be it for now. That's game.